Well, let me ask you this. Um, now that you're a father of two daughters, just like me with two daughters, and you've got all this wisdom, all this experience in your brain, you know, what do you take from being a college athlete, from being a SEAL, from being an officer? What, what is, what of that are you taking and trying to instill in your daughters on a daily basis? Yeah. I mean, I think one of the things we really focus on is doing hard things. So you can, you can do hard things and doing hard things have merit when you do hard things, whatever that is and hard for their phase of life. Right. Like for a while it was, I remember being on a playground here and, you know, our beautiful mountain town. And I remember my daughter's trying to get her like snow jacket zipped up. She's having a hard time. And this mom comes running into zipper jacket. I'm like, don't zip her jacket. She, she can figure out how to zip up her jacket. And then that mom looked at me like, I'm, I might as well have been a seven headed dragon. I mean, she probably called child protective services on me, but I was like, she's gonna have to figure out how to zip up her jacket. And, and lo and behold, she got it. And now she can zip up her jacket. So, so it's, it's framed in, in a window of time of what I think they can do. But you know, I've taken my eldest on hikes up where I'm scouting for elk hunting season. And it's probably more of a hike than she's kind of willing to do with a backpack and walk in some dangerous ground. It's like, hey, you can do these hard things. And guess what? When you do hard things, you're inoculated to when hard things find you that you weren't prepared for. Like you either turn your hand, turn your you know head or, or back and put your head in the sand. Ugly hard stuff's gonna find you regardless in this life. And so you either prep for it or kind of built a path to know how to metabolize it and do it well, or you don't. So that's a big part of it. Um I can't isn't part of our language. I mean, my daughters learned very on if they said I can't, that we're staying there until they did. And so they don't even say it anymore because they're like, I mean, they'd say I can't. I'd be like, well, dang, we're going to be missing dinner because we're staying here until you get it. And then they get it after an hour and you're like, you could have done it the first time, but like, here we go. And so we do a lot of that. And then, uh, you know, it, it's funny. My, my experience in the military and, and in those programs, um, and this is not unique, is it's all ends up being about the relationships. I mean, when I think yeah. of that time, I love being, I, I love winning national championships in Syracuse, but I don't think much about those games anymore. You know, I mean, it was a game, it's written in history, it's never going away. So like that stamp is there, it's just a chapter, but I got still, you know, a bunch of buddies. Like, I mean, I got birthday wishes from all my teammates, you know, the other day is great, you know, and then just seeing them at reunions and those relationships are sublime and lasting. And so, um, you know, we sort of are trying to push them to be involved, whatever that looks like, you know, be, be in team sports. I, I think individual sports are great too, but I, I just love being part of a team. I think that's how we do life. And so, you, you know, just getting into that and kind of, you know, being a good teammate, being a good friend, being supportive and, and taking care of one another. I mean, I just think that's where so many good life lessons come from. So we're just making sure they're present and in that. And to be honest, they're saying all the right things. I mean, you know, my, my, my daughter will come back from a basketball game and make a, a an interesting comment that had nothing to do with basketball, but about a teammate and how she helped her, how that, that teammate helped her. And I'm like, you're taking the good stuff away from this. Whether you play at whatever level, this is what sports is about, you know? So yeah, that, th those are things we try and try and focus on. And there's, there's a lot of love in our house. You know, I mean, I think people have a sense that you know, if you're in the military, some elite unit, you're probably just some terminator that I'm more heart than anything else. You know, I'm an emotional dude. And so I, I want my daughters to know me so they know I have the capacity to go up to tremendous violence, but I don't use it very often. And I'd rather I'd rather help and build somebody up than break them down hundred yeah. times out of a hundred. Yeah.